Hello, CEO here. And today, I will be teaching you an easy way to get maximum balloons in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Balloons carrying presents are the main source for various seasonal DIY sets, such as the mushroom DIYs, the festive DIYs, and the infamous cherry blossom DIYs. Shooting down balloons carrying presents is the only way to get these DIYs in the game. Thus, if you are trying to collect all of the DIYs in a particular set, you must shoot down as many balloons as possible with a slingshot in order to have the best chance of getting all the DIYs. However, not every balloon will be carrying a DIY. This is why shooting down as many balloons as possible is crucial when hunting for a particular seasonal DIY. In this video, I will show you how to easily get as many balloons as possible so you don't waste your time running all over your island looking for balloons. But before we get started, I just wanted to thank everyone for 6,000 YouTube subscribers! I love making these Animal Crossing videos for everyone, and I have so much gratitude for everyone who has joined me on this YouTube journey. I can't wait to see where it leads us! If you aren't subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when I post more Animal Crossing videos like this one. I also want to mention that I have a Twitch channel where I play Animal Crossing live with viewers and I would love to play Animal Crossing and chat with you over there when I'm live. The link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below. Now let's get into the video! As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Balloons carrying presents are the main way to collect various seasonal DIY sets, including the festive set, the mushroom set, and the cherry blossom set. To maximize your chances of collecting all the DIYs in a set, you will want to shoot down as many balloons as possible. This is where the balloon farming method comes into play. Balloons carrying these presents fly through your island skies throughout the day. Between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m., balloons will spawn from one side of your island. On my island, they spawn from the right side. From 6 p.m. to 5 a.m., balloons will spawn from the opposite side of your island. In this case, my balloons will spawn from the left side after 6 p.m. Figuring out which side of your island your balloons spawn from during the day and night will be important for this balloon farming method. Once you figure out which side of your islands your balloons spawn from at a certain time, you can begin to build the setup that will guide balloons right to you. To build this setup, you will need jail bars and climbing walls. The jail bars can be crafted and the climbing walls can be purchased from nooks. The organ from Reese and Cyrus's wedding will also work if you have one lying around. These items are very tall, which means they will block any balloon from passing over them. When jail bars, climbing walls, and organs are placed along the edge of your beach, all balloons that spawn will be guided down the beach instead of flying across your island. Here, I've placed a combination of jail bars, climbing walls, and one organ on the grass right at the edge where the grass and the beach meet. If you have a peninsula on the side of your island where you decide to build this setup, just continue placing the tall items in a straight line. There is no need to place a tall item on the peninsula itself. I also made sure there are no gaps between any of the tall items. A way to make sure there are no gaps is to have your villager try to squeeze in between two items. If your villager can easily walk or step through the space between two items, then you need to push them closer together or position them so they overlap. This is done to make sure no balloons can escape past the walls. As you can see, the balloon doesn't fly over the wall, but rather starts to travel south towards my bottom beach. Then, all you have to do is stand at the bottom of the beach and wait for the balloons to come to you. You will want to make sure you have enough empty space on the bottom of your beach, so when you do pop the balloons, the present falls to the ground. If you have too many items on the ground when you pop the balloon, the present will fall and then despawn once it hits the ground. You also have the option to walk along the wall and pop any balloons that run into the wall. You don't necessarily have to wait for the balloons to come down to the bottom of the beach. If you catch them flying and they're trapped by the wall, feel free to pop them right then and there. Balloons spawn roughly on the 4th and 9 minute. This means balloons could spawn at 
1209, 1214, 1219, and so on. But this doesn't mean a balloon will spawn on every 4th and ninth minute. This balloon farming technique is helpful because it eliminates the need to run up and down your beaches. You can set up the walls and have your villager wait at the bottom of the beach while you do something else. But you'll have to keep an eye on the sky in case a balloon floats to you. I also recommend having at least two slingshots in your pockets for this method. Slingshots break like any other tool, thus having a spare on you will help you not miss any balloon. I've been in many situations where a balloon was passing overhead and I was not carrying a slingshot. It's a very sad time. You can also carry around materials to build a slingshot and then craft one at a DIY table that is outside if you are in a pinch. But going inside to buy a slingshot or to get one out of your storage will cause the balloon to despawn. And that's it. Now you can build your own balloon farming setup on your island to easily farm as many balloons as you need to collect those seasonal DIYs you are hunting for. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you and let me know in the comments which DIY you are currently looking for. Please subscribe and like this video for more Animal Crossing help videos like this one. Also be sure to check out my Twitch channel where I play Animal Crossing New Horizons live with viewers. The link to my Twitch will be in the description down below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.